Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad to be back. So I've explained my absence in a YouTube short if you want to go and see that. But here we are, you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to review a restaurant I really enjoyed in Disneyland Paris, Cowboy Cookout Barbecue. So Cowboy's Cookout Barbecue, what is it like? It is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely really enjoyed eating here. One, the food was fantastic. Two, the location was great. Three, it was really quite affordable for the amount of food we got. So let's break it down. Location, where is it? It's in Frontierland. It's just around the corner from Big Thunder Mountain. We actually spent a couple of um, days sort of around this area because we enjoyed doing pin training. So we sort of, it's in that sort of area. And I know that there's usually a lot more on. I could see that there was a stage show which would normally be there. The station, the railway station is there as well. So it does, it seems a bit empty. It seems a bit sparse because things weren't fully open. But I reckon once the everything's back to normal, that area probably would be very busy. It is a fantastic eat. It tastes amazing. The menu has got a great selection. You've got sausages, you've got chicken, you've got the meal that I went for, which was like the sheriff's barbecue, which was sausage, barbecue ribs, chicken, and you could choose your side. So you could have a side salad or chips and a drink as well. And the most expensive was my sheriff's mix, which was 17 euros. So for under 20 euros, my family um, were full. We filled up so much. We felt fantastic. It felt great to have a good filling meal. And it was affordable. It wasn't that, it didn't break the bank. It's a quick service uh, restaurant. So it's, you go up, you put your order to the till, you pay, you then go to the next counter, you wait for your food, and then you go and find a place to sit. We went at around 11.30, so it just opened, so it was fairly quiet, but as the as we were having our meal, as the time was going on, sort of getting towards 12 and past 12 o'clock, it was starting to get busy. So I think this is one where if you want to go, you've got, sort of got to eat in odd times. So we sort of, like I say, we were there at 11.30, it was there when it opened. It does stay open until four o'clock, so maybe towards sort of having a mid-afternoon lunch, sort of avoiding that lunchtime rush, 12 till one maybe. It might be a bit better if it's been busy when you've been before. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know. So it is absolutely a fantastic menu. Has got some choices, like you, we had the set menu, but you can choose to have your individual items. So you've got the sausage, you've got a vegan burger, as well available there um you've got like the sheriff's mix that i had uh, you've got a cheeseburger as well so there is a few different options the desserts look we had i think we had a pecan pie and i had the yogurt so there wasn't a great deal i know now i can see on the menu that there is mickey ice cream bars available and i probably would have gone for that um anything mickey shaped i will always pick over anything else so yeah, it's got a great selection of different types of food. It's very unique to Disneyland Paris. I didn't think we saw anything like it. It fits in with the frontier theming so brilliantly. It does feel like a like other barbecue um, restaurants that I've seen on like the travel programs and Food Network, and it just looks really good. It looks really amazing, um, and it's just so superb. I loved the food there. It's one that I really walked away from and thought. Probably will go back there in the future if we get a chance. But there is now more restaurants open there that weren't open when I went originally. So I want to try and experience as much as I can next time I go to Disneyland Paris. So like I said, the pricing and the most expensive was 17 euros. So everything is around under 20 euros. So it's really good for pricing. So yeah, if you're wanting a good filling hearty meal and you're like wanting just something quick and easy on for budget, this is a really good choice for you. It's in a really easy location to find. Go past Big Thunder Mountain and you'll see the big red building. It's really good for price, really good menu. So I think that even with your picky eaters, they're not going to say no to a sausage or a cheeseburger. And if you're wanting to try something different like half uh, a roasted chicken or um, some barbecue ribs, it has got something slightly different to the rest of the park. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever been to Cowboy Cookout Barbecue. Um, what was your experiences? What did you have? Um, 
I know I've been away for a couple of months. I'm really glad to be back and editing and making videos. I'm really excited to keep going with it. Hopefully be bringing some more Disney trip news in the next half year, six months or something like that. Hopefully be traveling somewhere soon. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I'm back up and running on Instagram. I'm sharing as many photos as I can. Well, photos, but the Instagram wants to do a reel, but I'm not, I don't know. I don't know how that's all working out. But anyway, um, I've gone off on a tangent. Thank you for watching and I will see you all real soon.